now this is a objective objective solved example question number 29 now we have to find total number of solutions of sin pi x equals to mod ln mod x on base c so it is mod of ln of mod x on base c we have to find number of solutions of this equation so the approach you follow is instead of solving this equation and finding number of solutions we follow and then you know it's a mixed equation log and sine Tr trigonometric function sine and logarithmic function it is not possible to solve this equation that's why question is not find the roots of this equation question is find the number of solutions so by solving it we cannot do it math so mathematical approach we cannot apply we apply graphical approach we draw graph of sine pi x we draw graph of mod ln mod x on base c and then we see points of intersection between these two graphs the x coordinates of points of intersection between these two is the root of this equation right so we draw graph of both both of these and, and see points of intersection and point of intersection means roots of this every point of intersection x coordinate x coordinate of point of intersection will be root of this now for that uh, like we'll draw graph of both sine pi x is you know it's a graph whose period is 2 pi by pi period is 2 and you know this is the typical cycle of sine period is 2 so principal cycle or the unique part of sine first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant fourth quadrant will take two interval to complete so so we can easily draw it for this plotting we have to apply transformation this graph can be plotted if you plot ln mod x and then there's a transformation which can be used to plot graph of mod of fx from graph of fx from graph of fx we plot mod of fx right and this can be plotted by starting with graph of ln x and replacing x by mod of x so we have a transformation which can transform the graph of fx to f of mod of x it means from ln, ln x to ln mod of x so let's draw this first so we start with ln x so, so let's learn how to draw this start with ln x and then once we have the graph of ln x we draw graph of ln mod x and what we do is we reject left half whatever we have in left half reject that and take reflection of right half into left half as there is nothing in left half to reject we take straight away take reflection of right half into left half right so always remember these transformations derivations are not important just the transformations are important you should remember what to do and all the transformation should be on tips reject left half take reflection of right half into left half and then we take mod of the whole fx to mod of fx the transformation says that you take image of lower half into upper half take image of lower half into upper half don't touch upper half but image of lower half into upper half and then you reject lower half right so take image of lower half into upper half and reject lower half so this is the graph of mod function now graph of sign will draw graph of sign no. so one thing I would like to mention here whenever you have to find points of intersection of graphs number of roots whenever you have to find number of roots using graphs your graphs should be drawn with a proper scale proper scale means the the like the units you are taking the scale you are taking for example on x axis you are taking one unit like this then next unit should also be of the same width like this rough rough idea you cannot take two here and then three here right so graph will be really distorted and from there you won't be able to find points of intersection similarly if you're taking one unit here you have to take one unit here right again one unit here so two Right. Uh, <coughs> uh, next thing is like let's 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 draw combine both the graphs. So let's take one unit, two unit, three unit, four unit, minus one, minus two, minus three. So graph of sine is so one unit here. Graph of sine is sin pi x and right and now we'll draw graph of mod and we draw in such a way that we should be able to see points of intersection between the two 
so more graph is passing through one it is coming like this right this is half so even we can check when x equal to half so it is minus a half mod is and then minus ln2 so it is a value less than less than 1 right so graph will come like this and one the most important thing here is you can see the maximum value sign can taking take sign is taking is 1 so graph you know mod graph will come down like this and go like this now whether it will go like this or like this or like this or like this that's the main thing we have to figure it out to see number of points of intersection between the two right so we can see when the log mod x is 1 and you can see when x equal to e by inspection we can see when you replace x equal to e see when x equal to e mod of e is e l and e is 1 is 1 so e is 2.7 when e is 2.7 uh, when, when x equal to e then mod is this mod function is taking value 1 it means it means it will cross this line so e will e will be somewhere here 2.7 will be somewhere here so this is the value where mod x is crossing 1 similarly on this side this is minus c so if you replace minus c then there is a mod sign over it over minus c so again the value will be 1 at x equal to e as well as minus c this is equal to 1 at x equal to e and at x equal to minus c so mod function will cross from this point and end from this point so now we can comfortably draw it will come down like this and go like this on this side also it will come down symmetry, symmetry about y axis come down like this and it will pass through like this like this now we can count how many points of intersection it will intersect here intersect here two points three points four points five points and six points so there are six points of intersection between the two graphs so the corresponding equation that is this equation has six roots as there are six points of intersection you can see here as the six points of intersection it means there are six values of x where sine pi x is meeting mod graph the two are equal two are equal means these two are equal means roots of this equation and the most important thing you know is scale we have draw proper scale another thing that we saw is when it will cross this line at what point it will cross this line so we could easily figure out these are two points of intersection so to avoid going like this we found this point where when sin x will cross 1 and that is coming out to be e that is 2.7 and because of that we could draw it properly and we could figure out six points of intersection from the graph